and the radical group is making the crisis more worse. The current situation in Afghanistan is alarming with more than 24 million people requiring humanitarian assistance to survive. People are hungry, starving, selling body organs and kids to survive. Or they are committing suicide due to the worst economic conditions. Girls are ab abandoned from schools. The economy is on the uh, verge of collapse. Extrajudicial killings and bomb blasts targeting innocent students and worshippers uh, uh, in Shia mosques are increasing day by day. In addition to the to the internal problem, Pakistan. Pakistan, who has been the main player of the terrorism in the whole world, is firing rockets toward the areas near Duran Line and has been crossing the so-called line again and again, bombing innocent Afghans in Khost, Paktika, and Kunar provinces. More than 40 women and children were killed in an air attack by Pakistan last week. This is clear invention and very unhuman and men act by poor Pakistan. On the other hand, the Afghans who flee Afghanistan for Iran in, for Iran face heinous treatment by the government and people of Iran. They arrest, torture, kill and dishonor the Afghans who have already suffered a lot. And I would like all to say shame, shame Pakistan. Shame, shame, Pakistan! Shame, shame, Iran! Shame, shame, Iran! Shame, shame, Pakistan! Cutting the pain, the challenges, and the sorrow of Afghan species is so difficult. We are here to simply say that, please, please don't forget Afghanistan. Do not forget Afghans. If you consider 